You know, we're pretty excited. Um, we have 35 girls this year, which is a solid number. I love to be in those upper 30s, low 40s, so we're, we're approaching that number. Our numbers are up a little bit from last year, so we're excited about that. Um, we graduated two seniors last year, so um, we've got a, a good group returning. Um, our seniors were very good contributors, so we're going to have some, some holes to fill, and I think that's normal in any high school lineup. Um, but the outlook is good. Um, we're going to have some very, very good competitive meets. Um, when I look at our section, we have an, uh, not a new section, but a little bit of a reshuffling within our section. Um, Alexandria is out. Morris Minnewaska is out. Um, Cathedral is in and St. Cloud Tech are in. So we've got some very good teams coming into the section. Um, we're obviously looking, you know, as Melrose as the uh, reigning section champ is, is one of the best teams in the, the section, no doubt, and certainly the conference. So we've got some great competition just down the road. Um, but we're excited. We've got some good dual meets. We still see Alexandria in a dual meet. Um, we're going to see Sauk Rapids in a dual meet. Um, we see Cathedral in a dual meet. So we've got some great dual meets um, that are going to be very competitive for us. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm excited to see what these girls can do um, to bring back uh, or to fill some of those holes and what they're going to do coming back this year after a good year of, of training in the summer and some things that they were there. Um, you talk about the state meet participants from last year that we return as well. Um, we had eight girls down at the state meet last year. We've got seven returning. Um, Carmen Lockster Camp, Stella Shermers, Addie Bick, Bro Brooke Bromenschenkel, Maisie Jennison, and um, Olivia Marsh, Maya Volkman was there as an alternate. She's she's graduated then. And Megan Hevron was uh, a senior, and she swam in f uh, three events um, and has since graduated. But. We had our 400 free relay and our medley relay um, that are going to be, um, you know, Megan was on both of those, but we've got opportunities for kids to fill in and get those. Um, we have Stella who was down there. Um, Stella was 19th in the um, butterfly and 7th in the backstroke. She earned all state honors last year as a backstroker. Pretty impressed with her. And then another individual swimmer, Brooke Bromenschenkel. Um, Brooke was top 16 in the breaststroke. Um, for her first individual trip down there, we were pretty excited. So those two, um, you know, coming back as kind of our individual leaders but we've had relays down there we've got success there and some some experience now so we're excited to see what they can do um, and again just you know looking at the rest of the team as well um, we've got we had 17 section qualifiers last year we've got 15 of those returning um, we're hoping to add a few more in there as we see some of our eighth graders make jumps as they come into ninth grade um, and again some of those ninth graders making jumps as they move forward but yeah we're pretty excited I'm, I'm excited to see the crew that we have um, I'm excited to see you know, what we can get from some of those girls who are, um, you know, returning from this, uh, the, the state meet, but also kids who want to have that opportunity even on a relay as well. Um, and we're going to have some great competition for those spots and uh, just, again, excited about where we're headed this year.